made it. Here we are at the compound. Going for a ride. I wasn't holding here for a moment. Here's the workshop. Damn. Was the building even here when you came? Building not down here, no. Wow. Fucking dope. Fuck yeah. Axe throwing. Got the full nah. Brought them all up here and made a little stair step you can go up, but The old 1983 K5 here, military Detroit diesel. That thing will go through everything. But all it takes is a little spray paint and to touch it up. And then also with the four wheeler, I ended up buying these, this bucket and this scraper. And when we scraped this land down here, we scraped all the excess dirt and block and the retaining wall to give us more of a back patio, which you'll see soon enough um, how it drops off so gradually and fat, you know rapidly that we had to add more dirt and stones and blocks from the retaining wall to build that whole back patio up but here at the compound this year we uh when the plant pandemic hit uh we started a 30 by 50 garden here we have a garden which all kinds of vegetables in case we needed our own vegetables Nice to uh, corn, green beans, squash, tomatoes, okra, which we got some okra right there, and some pumpkins, and big old pumpkins too over here. You can see the pumpkins. Pumpkins. 
We got probably about 10, 10 at least 10 pumpkins. Well, some are still green, some are turned orange. More and more pumpkins. Tons of pumpkins. Is this watermelon or pumpkin? Pumpkin. So they are green at first? Yeah. Oh, I never knew that. That's cool. Yep. And one right there. We'll go ahead and plop this one out. Here's one of the pumpkins. Here's a big old pumpkin there. I'll go ahead and put this one inside. Made all this out of milled extra material free. Uh, I got these cedar posts from the tornado when the tornado came through Tennessee. Wow. Uh, you can still see pieces of plastic inside the wood right here. And that's from the tornado that went through Nashville. This went through, th these posts came from Mount Juliet. Houses got destroyed. You know, uh, they were just throwing away the material. So I went there and loaded up about two or three uh, loads of uh, wood, bricks, um, which I use some of the bricks for around here. And we use uh, whatever, like two by fours, these big, these big two by eights I got from the tornado disaster. So I just basically tried to use all the materials I could from the tornado that they were throwing away, all reclaimed materials use that there and then we also guardian watches over the doorway greets everyone at the compound wood the ceiling we got from a ceiling from a cabin they uh, remodeled the cabin and then uh, you have the army room we've got army air force marine rooms each one has its own designated flag nice. as the doorway until I can uh, put in I'm gonna put barn doors sliding barn doors in but this here is the army room where a guest can stay. Hey, buddy. And right now we've got guests here, and of course our little little air, 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 doggy here. Oh yeah. Here right there. Uh, Turn that. That's what's up. Wow. What's your name? What's your name? May I pet you? Okay. 
Okay. I don't think he likes me yet. He's got to get used to me. Yeah. So here we have the kitchen. We got a washer dryer. You know, people to. We don't have the dishwasher hooked up yet, but we've got a sink and it's all ran off of well water. So uh, I had uh, a Marine come here who specialized in testing water and he tested the water. The only thing it tests high for was zinc. And zinc is a great, you know, thing for this current situation with the pandemic because low in zinc, this will supplement the, the zinc in your body. Nice. Oh, we've got... Uh, Hi. You want to meet me now? Oh Hello. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Come on, boy. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, come Hi buddy. Go outside. Hi. Go good outside. to meet you. Wow, you are friendly. Yeah, he's a Booty good scratch. Boy. He's a good Booty boy. Booty scratch. You ready to go outside? Come on, boo. Let's go outside. Hi. You smell my dogs from New Orleans? They're Cocker Spaniels. One's half. Yeah, you're pretty. Pretty. Pretty pup. Let's go. Another great thing, we uh, teamed up with four Patriots, and they gave us a lot of uh, food supplements, or if just, you know, if you're a prepper, they're a great company that if you need food in case of emergency situations, well, they gave us boxes upon boxes over here to... Uh, feed all our veterans for the retreats that we put on. Nice. That's what's up. Which I thought that was really cool that, you know, they did that for us. Going uh, out back. I got sliding glass doors that I'm putting inside right here. But Oh, wow. What is this? Fox? Yeah, that's a coyote. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. Another one is a fox. Wow. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah. Coming out back here, we've got a greenhouse and we've got vegetables growing, tomatoes, peppers, more tomatoes. And uh, here you are there. What is back here? That's cilantro. Or no, that's uh, citronella. Oh, wow. Citronella plants. Pretty. What are they for, like garnishing or? No, they are for repelling insect, like mosquitoes. Oh. Citronella cancel candles, you know? Wow. So we come out here and fellowship by the fire. And we've got an outdoor shower right here. People can sit there and Turn on the shower, it's not on right now. I've got to uh, turn on the water for it to work. You want me to hook it up? Okay, if you want to go over there and just turn it on, yeah. just turn the spigot on, it's already. All right. Uh, although there might be individual valves, I don't know. It seems like, yeah, they're just turned on and off. But turn the main one on. All right, now the water's on. I'm not sure if the valve's on or off yet. This one's not on because I think I shut the... I turned it so it's not on. Okay. So if you want to turn the small... Alright, try it now. I hear something. Yeah, it's on. All right. Yeah, so if you want to take a shower outside, have a seat on the bench. There you go, you got an outdoor shower, which comes in handy, especially after you go mudding all day. If you're all muddy, come out here and just rinse off. Works good though. Nice. That's then we, pretty awesome. Uh, 
We spent a lot of our nights out here. Sitting by the fire, the fellas sleeping with each other. The fire's right here? Huh? Where's the fire? Right there behind you, brother. Oh. Yeah, that's the fire. Be like Mike. I want to be like Mike, but I want to be me. So this is the other two rooms. Oh, this is you. That's dope. That is dope. There was a picture right there from the last ski camp uh, over here. Catching some air. That's what's up. We still gotta, I would rather do this when we clean up after someone stayed here. But. Yeah, I can still get gold. The walls at least. Yeah. Another bear. another room the Air Force room we we uh, use the designated camouflage that goes with each room wow. so this room is the Air Force room we put Air Damn. Force camouflage tiger print memorabilia from the Air Force I'm assuming there's no Coast Guard here? Uh, we got the Coast Guard memorabilia up on top of the fridge there. And Navy. The Navy and Coast Guard are down at the lake. Nice. So I stand corrected. There is Coast Guard stuff here. They're all on the, on the lake. Pretty cool stuff. We got it going on here. Play some music, do some karaoke. Yeah. You know, it's all come together. So a lot, a lot more to fine tune everything in, and we'll get some sliding door, deck door right there. Come out here and you got yourself a little comfortable oasis. The beautiful woods, the trees are our spirit guides and give us lots of positive good energy out here it's very desolate quiet um wanted to create a atmosphere of just unplugging getting away from the city connect with nature and free your mind open your mind to uh the earth's energy because there's a lot of great earth's energy out here Good vibes. You know, a lot of a lot of activities to do around here that are related to outdoors, whether it's going to the lake. Uh, you can hit the lake, hit the Caney Fork, find some waterfalls, 
you can uh, go ATV riding. You know, all, all those things are good, good, wholesome fun. And that's what we're trying to create out here at the compound. You know, it's just a headquarters. This area here is the headquarters for all the activities that we're looking to do in the future to include possibly some uh, airsoft competitions, ATV trail riding, um, you know, water activities to include kayaking, canoeing, fishing, boating, um, just bringing people together to, uh, you know, take advantage of the opportunity to connect with nature and connect with other people, creating and establishing good networks and peer-to-peer -peer networking to help each other expand resources and opportunities. But uh, right here is where we're gonna begin uh, creating a therapeutic experience for our veterans and anyone that wants to come out and enjoy, whether it's supporters of our vets or people who just wanna rent out the space for their family to enjoy, all the funds will be utilized to expand the opportunities here at the compound as we continue to develop the land into a, uh, you know, a primitive campsite place for people to come escape from the city. Right. But. I like it too. The nature out here is. Great job. I mean, I got pear trees right here that are not quite tall enough to produce fruit. They do produce fruit, but not good enough. To here? Yeah. On the other side? Right here. Or here. Oh, the, that tree right there, that's a pear tree. Okay. Wow. But with the long leaves, those long leaves, that's pear trees. Or, or peaches, sorry. Peaches. Not pears, peaches. Peaches. We've got peaches and blackberries bushes out here. Nice. Peaches, blackberries, garden, trying to create a, you know, help teach people the importance of growing their own vegetables, you know, because you don't know what's gonna happen in the future, whether supermarkets start losing their ability to feed everyone. You gotta start becoming self-sustaining, preparing for whatever might come next. So self-sustainable, living is the goal and having your own food to be able to can go back to the old ways canning your own food less buying and relying on you know the government as well as uh you know them to supply the food chain because we can we can do it ourselves if we teach our youth how to garden and you know build their own places they don't and become less reliant upon government assistance. That's another aspect that we're trying to promote here at the compound. Well, it's a beautiful compound. Love the, uh, love what's going on here. I can't wait to see it all flourish. This is only the beginning. Yes, indeed, it's just the beginning. Only just begun. Uh, built the fireplace with all local rocks from the ridge. The ridge is very resourceful of all that you need. Maybe we should take a ride on the. Uh, I'm about to ride. Thank you. I'm all for it. The compound starts at that end of the fence, all the way at that. All the way down that fence line. I own all the property from that big tree right there going that way over. So from the road all the way over and inside, all the way down this road and back in. So we've got seven and a half acres to play with out here at the compound.
Oh, wow. This here is a water sister that uh, collects the water, rainwater, and we use the water to water the garden as well as, you know, it can be used for anything. There's a water pump in this that I will uh, set up and we'll be able to pump the water out, but this is a great way of, you know, we have a well as well, so I don't have to just rely on this, but I also have spring water, two springs on the property, one on that end and one on that end that feed into Thunderhead Creek. Too good. Wanna come in? Wanna come in here? In here? Hey, you have a vicious bark, you know that? So vicious, it's so cute. Can't say no to that. Go, buddy, go. Go, go, go. But it's all coming together. We're gonna probably put a flat screen TV up there for people to watch movies. Nice. Probably put a big TV right there. I'm gonna put uh, one of them electric fireplaces down below here. And uh, we'll heat the inside with a wood burning stove that burns wood on the winter. On the other side of the workshop, we'll put wood out there. But uh, yeah. Here's the compound. I like it. Started uh, working on it in February and finished it in June. It's not completely finished, but this is where we're at right now. So looking to host groups out here to uh, you know, share the experience. Get them involved and let them experience something else. Get them back in that mindset. Yeah. Some freedom. Come on, come on. He's a good boy. Yeah. He's a good boy. He's a good boy, aren't you? He's a good boy. And make sure you hit that like, follow, and subscribe button, guys.